Are flannels dead? Honestly, I've been thinking about this a lot. I gotta say, I don't think I'll ever stop wearing flannels. That being said, I am getting a little bit tired of them. And at this point, it's no secret that yes, they're getting a little bit overplayed. Everyone has a flannel at this point. Everyone's wearing that flannel with the hoodie combo. Don't get me wrong, it's a good outfit, but it is getting a little bit tiring. And let's be real, flannels are probably gonna be the main essential when it comes to men's fashion in the fall now that the fall is here if you want some better alternatives to a flannel today i'm going to be giving you five different options so the first one is going to be more of an overshirt now if you're wondering what the difference between an overshirt and an actual shirt that you could just leave unbuttoned trust me there is a bit of a difference but that little bit goes such a long way overshirts are pretty much meant to be layered with and with that honestly you're, they're not really supposed to be buttoned up or anything like that the only problem with this is with that it's honestly kind of hard to find a good overshirt especially those thicker ones that i'm really recommending for the fall and that's because a lot of times they're not really named overshirt online but i definitely have a couple in my wardrobe already for example the most recent pickup that i had was going to be an overshirt from zara it's in this gray color it's a little bit thicker so it's perfect for the fall and honestly i can tell you right away i'm going to be wearing this a lot more than i'm going to be wearing any of my flannels another good alternative into a flannel is going to be an actual jacket but since a flannel is typically worn when it's not too cold i'm not going to be naming jackets that are really thick i'm going to be talking about some little lightweight jackets that you could throw on over a shirt and it's going to look good so for example a harrington jacket now harrington jackets have definitely been popping off lately as i've been seeing them a lot more recently especially on tiktok everybody's wearing them and it's for a good reason harrington jackets look great now in my opinion there's two different styles when it comes to a harrington jacket the way that most people are wearing them as a trend is going to be kind of oversized and with that it really ties into that baggy aesthetic that's still very popular to this day but the one that i have been liking a lot more is going to be more of a slimmer fit harrington jacket and that way it looks a lot cleaner and a little bit more of a sophisticated aesthetic which i feel like you really don't see that much when it comes to younger guys of course most younger guys are going to feel a lot more comfortable sticking to style trends so that's why you're going to see a lot more of that oversized one that i talked about earlier but if you get one like the one that i have from express in that more slimmer fit in my opinion it looks really great not a lot of other guys are wearing it. also another one that i had is going to be from nautica this one is a bit more oversized so either way i have both i like both styles when it comes to the harrington jacket but it's entirely up to you and your own style and which one you want to get and aside from all that let's talk about something else let's talk about my hairstyle so one of my most frequently asked questions about me is going to be my hairstyle at least when it's not a complete mess because yes sometimes it definitely is so when it's not a complete mess i definitely get a lot of questions asking how do i achieve this hairstyle what can they do to get a hairstyle similar to mine and although i've answered it so many times i'm going to be doing it once again but with today's video sponsor Lafin. like i've said i've done hairstyles in the past before but i'm always finding new ways to improve my hairstyle whether it's making it easier to do or just having the actual hairstyle look a lot better and i've definitely achieved both of these things with a leaf and blow dryer and not only that i also love how easy it is to use it's very simple and very versatile so there's the button to change the temperature and there's the button to turn it off and on with that it also comes with three attachments which means you could use it for literally any hairstyle that you're trying to achieve so for example if you use it with this attachment and you have straight hair it's going to look a little something like this but since my hair is not straight it's a little bit more wavy or curly so that's why i'm going to be using this diffuser now if you've never seen the difference with the diffuser here's me blowing on the towel with the diffuser and if i take it off it moves a lot more so it's a huge difference and honestly it just works a lot better with my hair type so as always i start off with wet hair i just got off the shower and right after i'm going to change it to the hot setting not the hottest but the kind of warm setting and from there i just apply it directly on my hair then i scrunch my hair with my fingers and also the pricks that the diffuser has so that way it could create a little bit more texture and a little bit more waves throughout my hair and i just do this until my hair starts to dry which doesn't take long with this blow dryer which is the main thing that i love about it but after that i'm going to switch it to the cold setting and do the same thing once again but this time the reason why i switched it to the cold setting is because i feel like it does a lot better job of kind of keeping my hair in place since the goal isn't really to dry my hair anymore it's more so to have the hairstyle do what i want it to do but that's pretty much it with the blow dryer so honestly i used to let my hair air dry which don't get me wrong it's a good option but with this leaf and blow dryer it turned a 30 minute job into less than five minutes which that's the reason why i've been liking it so much that's the reason why i recommend it so if you want to check one out for yourself and achieve the same hairstyle that i've been rocking for the longest now make sure to check out Leif the link's going to be in the description so that way you can pick one up for yourself and achieve the best hairstyle you possibly can all right the third alternative is going to be yet another jacket but a little bit more of a lightweight one and that is going to be a worker's jacket now this is another style trend that is very popular right now i've seen this worker jacket so much lately but i think it's for a good reason because they're very easy style and it looks good now same thing with a flannel you could literally throw a flannel on any kind of t-shirt and it looks good and same thing with these jackets especially the worker's jacket i feel like it gives you an aesthetic that really not other clothes are going to give you so the one that i have is going to be from urban outfitters again it's just another jacket that you really don't see too much it's in a faded blue color 
alleyway. It looks like it's already been broken in and worn in as if I went to work. I could already hear the comments calling me a poser for wearing a jacket like this as if I worked a job that required me to wear a jacket like that or as if my job made the jacket look like the way it is. No, I bought it like that. I understand that I don't make my living with anything that has to do with wearing a jacket like that. But again, I don't care. It's never really affected me what people had to say about my style or my clothes, whether they called me a poser or whatever. Again, like I always say, you should only be wearing things that you like and you feel comfortable in. And in my opinion, a jacket like this looks great. All right, the fourth one is gonna be yet another overshirt, but let's get into a little bit more specific one. That is going to be a corduroy overshirt. Corduroy, I think is gonna be one of the best things to be wearing in the fall. There's just something about corduroy that I've always liked and I honestly would never get tired of. So if you're wearing it as an overshirt, I think it looks great in my opinion. Now, the thing is a lot of these corduroy shirts are meant to be buttoned by themselves and don't get me wrong, it looks great like that. Same thing with the flannel, you can wear it by yourself, but it also looks good if you're layering it with something else. The one that I have, I bought it from Macy's. It's just a black corduroy one, it looks great, but definitely as the fall comes, I'm gonna be wearing a lot more corduroy shirts. I definitely need to pick up a lot more, but I definitely need to get one in that classic brown. That's pretty much the color of most corduroy shirts or literally anything corduroy, in fact. And on other websites like Urban Outfitters, I've definitely seen more in a bunch of different colors that you really don't see too often so so in my opinion urban outfitters is a good way to start and finally the fifth alternative is gonna be one that i honestly thought was so corny back then but as time came on and especially now that's becoming a little bit more of a trend i think it's a great option and that is going to be a zip down hoodie now again zip down hoodies is something that i used to wear when i was a little kid therefore i thought it was really only for little kids i really thought that it was just something lazy that you really can't make look good but now that I've been seeing a lot more people wear it and it's becoming a trend, I decided to try it out myself. Before you call me a little trend hopper, yes, I get it, I wore it as a trend, but keep in mind I'm not wearing it just because it's a trend. Because it was a trend, I saw it, I decided to experiment with it, and now I like it, which in my opinion should go for literally any trend. Experiment with it, if you don't like it, push it off to the side. If you do like it, then implement it into your own style. That's the best piece of advice I can give you for any fashion trend out there. But going back to the zip down hoodie, again, it's something that you can just throw on and it looks good. In my opinion, this is kind of the last resort when it comes to switching out for a flannel just because obviously a flannel doesn't have a hoodie and a zip down hoodie has a hood so it definitely is a completely different alternative but it's still something very easy that you can layer with which is the whole point of a flannel in my opinion but like i said don't get me wrong i'm still gonna be wearing flannels throughout the entire fall i have plenty of flannels that i'm not gonna throw away but it is always good to switch it up and like i said flannels are gonna be one of the most popular pieces of clothing in the fall so you're gonna be seeing it a lot if you do want to switch things up these are gonna be great options in my opinion but again that shouldn't stop you from wearing anything that you want to wear I'm a big advocate of that, so that's why I've said it so many times. If you do want to know the flannels I'm going to be wearing, this green and black flannel is going to be one of my favorites. I'm going to be wearing this a lot. I will say the only flannel that actually did die off and I personally would stay away from is going to be that black and red flannel just because out of flannels in general, this one is going to be the most overplayed one. And I personally, I got tired of it. If you have one and you want to wear it, I cannot stress it enough wear it if you want to but yeah just like a flannel most of these options you can kind of wear by, by themselves they mostly wear flannels as an overshirt and that's why i kept saying to layer with so hopefully these options will help you out and if they did make sure to leave a like i'd really appreciate it and if you haven't subscribed already in this channel i simplify men's fashion so i'm gonna leave a button for you to do that right here and if you want to see more videos right away here are a few that i think could really help you out but anyways other than that i hope you have a great rest of your day and i'll see you in the next video later